Hello, and welcome to a cheap and cheerful episode of Name That Wine. I'm Rob Frisch, writer of the award-winning wine blog, oddbuckus.com. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> I don't know how I can follow that, but I am Liz Barrett, and I'm a certified specialist of wine, and I write the blog called What's in That Bottle.com, and pink is my favorite color. Well, this is your day. Oh, no! <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, my goodness. We get a lot of questions from our many, many thousands upon thousands of viewers. What, Huge. Hundreds of thousands. Millions. Viewers. Just Probably round millions. up. Oh, millions. right. Asking about wines that, you know, they don't want to spend a lot of money on the right. wine. What's, can I get something good for $10? Yes, you can. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. We are looking at rosé because it's summer. And it's the cheap shit. We are drinking the cheap crap so that you don't have to. We're going to tell right. you what $10 or less rosé is the best. Exactly. We've got three rosés that all clocked in at $9.99 or less. Mm -hmm. We got them from a bunch of stores in Chicago. Grocery stores, wine shops, corner markets, whatever. Exactly. And actually, they're all around between $9.99 and like $8. We did not go like sub six bucks, but we will. One day we will. We're going there for do you. Know. Will we do that? Maybe. I don't like to make promises that I am unwilling to make. I got no problem with that. <sighs> Hopefully these will be good juice. So we're gonna, we don't know which is which. And I think it's a mishmash of like, is there both California and like old world, new world? I gotta tell you, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> All right. It is we truly <laughs> wine. We we're drinking pink I and we no just idea. don't even know what's what. Number one. Okay, number one. Yeah, they're all like rosé colored. They're <laughs> insightful commentary from Miss Barrett. Hmm. Alright. Oh, well. Ah. Smells a little sort of spicy. You know, it's pretty good on the on the first step that finishes just a tiny bit tart. Mmm. I um Miner yeah. Acid, minerality. I don't hate that. I, I don't, don't hate it. I think it's good. I, I would drink it. that. I would drink that at the beach. It tastes old world to me. It tastes French. Yeah, because there's like an earthy spicy note, something like that. I like it. I'm drinking it. On two? No, I'm one. Oh. No, what? did you smell two yet? No! What is that? Compo a subtle note of burnt rubber? Or compost? Mmm! It's gonna be a hit at your next pool party. You know what? I don't mind that either. Strawberry. Strawberry. Sort of. Like, mild, underripe watermelon. There's a little bit of acid. It's a little bit, like, it has that powdery texture that a lot yeah. of uh, Provencal has. Mm -hmm. It has mm. a funky nose, like mushrooms or something. Like, There's something a little weird on the nose, but let's face it, most people who will be drinking a $10 rosé aren't going to be assessing the aroma very no. carefully. No. They're just going to be sucking it down. No. Sucking it down. That's why we do the hard drinking, so you don't have to. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a um, banana. An old banana that's been at the bottom of your purse for like a week. <laughs> I have never smelled that. I have. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Ah. <laughs> oh, I, I, the aroma is very off-putting. <laughs> I do not care for that one. In case you didn't notice. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, it's bad. No. With a capital B. It is sweet. It is not balanced. It tastes artificial. There's a circus peanutty note. Oh, the worst. So three. Oh, that's nasty. Three is definitely last in place. Three hundredth place. Yeah, I um, think these are actually in my order of preference. I might switch one and two, but it's a close. Because I like the no, I like the acids in number one. Yeah, nice and prickly. Yeah, you know what? Oddly, I think these are one, two, three. First second and like don't. Okay, what do I have? You have number one. I have number one. All right. What have we got? We've got. So this is our winner. <gasps> La Vieille Fair. Fair. So what does that mean? The old 
Farm. <laughs> Farm. Uh, authentic and delicious wines since 1967. Oh. France, at its best. Old world, you were right. Old world, nice balance between sweetness and acidity. True. Um, and that's from, is that from Provence? It, it just says it just it's France. product of France, so we but don't know. I think that's a really good deal, actually. And how much was this bag? That boy? was, it should, does it say? Oh, no. $9. Now, I have... I think I, where did you buy this? So that that I bought at Jewel, Jewel Osco. I think I saw this at Binnie's for like seven or eight. Yeah, so it's possible to even get it cheaper than nine. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's I've a seen real good it. deal. I've seen this on the shop, but I've never tasted it. Yeah, so that's very popular, to, that one. It's fun to taste. All right, let's try number two. Okay. We really, oh, watch out. Oh my ah. God. We need our drinking helmets on. <laughs> oh. Oh. French pool toy. French pool toy in a plastic bottle. Oh, nice. So this is actually a good pool wine. Also French. It was Grenache. a little difficult to determine what the blend was. Grenache and Syrah, we think. I think it's Grenache and Syrah. $9.99. And I got it at Fox Trot, I think. But yeah. I've seen it at other stores. And I like the plastic bottle because it's really like you could shove that in a backpack when you're biking to yes. the park or the beach or the pool for a picnic. Yeah. And I then like when that. you fall off your bike and you land on your back, your nope. back won't be stabbed full of glass shards. That's true. All right, number three. Oh. <laughs> so this was a disaster. Don't oh, need your crap. Oh, this was California Menage a Trois. Mm. That is one threesome I am not joining. No. This was $10, $10, $9.99. A fruit laden roller coaster ride. I'm thinking like the barfing part of the roller coaster ride. I'm too old for roller oh, coasters. Oh god, it's so bad. It's just I disgusting. can't even believe it's nine dollar, ten dollar. It's a blend of Merlot, Syrah, and Gewürztraminer. What the what? No. Fail. No. Fail. Bad. Duh. All right, so. All right. Once again, our winner. Cheap and cheerful. Love Sam. Voila! Go get yourself some cheap rosé and live it up. Yum.